Pie.com. Today I'm going to be sharing with you one of my family's favorite fall desserts, butternut squash pie. This pie is a fall favorite, but we actually enjoy this all year long. And so can you. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do is roast your butternut squash. You could steam this over the stove, you could steam it in the instant pot. Today I'm roasting mine and this is generally how I do it when I'm making pies. going to grab a sheet pan, line it with parchment paper, then take your butternut squash halves, place them face down, and you're going to roast them for 45 minutes at 375 degrees. Okay, so our butternut squash is done. It is roasted, it's beautiful, and now we're going to let this cool while we work on our crust. This crust recipe is my go-to crust recipe for all of my single crust pies. My sister shared this recipe with me years ago and I have been making it ever since. I love a good crust and I don't really like savory crusts for my dessert pies. So this one is gonna be a little sweet. All you're gonna need is flour, salt, powdered sugar, just a fourth cup, butter, an egg yolk, and some cold water. So first, just dump in your flour and salt, then your powdered sugar, and you're gonna give it a pulse just to mix it. Okay, next you're gonna add your cold butter. Pulse it until there's pea-sized bits. And then we are going to gradually add in our cold water until it all comes together. I have some plastic wrap and all I'm going to do is chill it in the fridge for 30 minutes and then roll it out. Our dough is chilled in the fridge for 30 minutes. I floured my workstation, floured my dough, and now I'm going to roll it out and put it in my pie plate. I'm now going to place it in my pie plate. chill it while I make my filling. Now we're gonna work on our filling. We're gonna take our roasted butternut squash, peel it, and then puree it in our food processor. You could use your blender for this. Today I'm just gonna use my food processor, but I have made this in a blender. So I like to take a spoon and then take the tip off. Then I'm gonna use my spoon to take Okay, so 
as you see, that was pretty easy. Some people like to flip the butternut squash over and then scoop out the flesh. I find that you actually get to keep more of the squash when you do it this way. If you notice the peel, there's very little squash on the peel. So this is all the squash that I'm going to just drop in my food processor with no blade. Let's do that again. And now we're ready to blend. Okay, so this looks pretty good. You are gonna need just two cups of it. You'll probably end up with more than two cups, so just save the rest for another recipe. Now it's time to work on our filling. What you're gonna need is your pureed butternut squash, brown sugar, flour, salt, and your spices or pumpkin pie spice, half and half, three eggs, and melted butter. The first thing that we're gonna do is start with our butternut squash and brown sugar, and we're gonna mix it until it's well combined. sugar well combined, we are going to add in our flour and spices and salt, our half and half, our melted butter, and finally our three eggs. Now we're going to grab our pie crust and pour it in. Now we're going to bake this in a 350 degree oven for about an hour. Hey everyone. That's fine. Yeah. What do I do? What do I say? You say hey, hey everyone. everyone. <laughs> 